Well, 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 has Putin lost his mind? Has Joe Biden lost his mind as well? And what is truly going on right now in the stock market? Today, we're going to look at Mark Cuban because he has just come out and said some things about the markets and the Ukraine situation and a potential rate hike, all these things. He has just covered that on CNBC. All headlines here on Yahoo Finance seems to be just bad news. Stocks plunge as Russia Ukraine situation escalate. Markets are on a war footing. Here's a worst case scenario. Ukraine, 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 Ukraine. We hear so much about this. Every single headline is about Russia, Ukraine. Uh, and some kind of bad news in regards to the stock market. Let's gain some clarity on this and hear what Mark Cuban has to say. But first of all, I think something that we both can agree on, no matter who you are, that is that there's a lot of fear in the market. The fear index, it's just, but you have to remember what Warren Buffett says, the greatest investor of all time, the Oracle of Oklahoma, man of the myth, this guy, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. And really the key takeaway here is when others are pouring money into the markets, when they're just buying it up and everyone believes that they can double their money, that is when you want to be fearful. That is when, when you want to start selling stocks. But when others are fearful, like I would definitely say this is a situation where people are fearful because people are kind of forced to fear by the media, right? You can't read a positive thing in the news these days. Although there's a lot of positive things to say, there's a lot of great deals out there. There's a lot of stocks beating earnings. Actually, it's going pretty well with the economy. This is just bad news, bad news, and they're highlighting all of these things. And let's see what Mark Cuban, the billionaire, five, five, I think he has a net worth of five billion or so, Mark Cuban, the investor of Shark Tank. He is also like a crypto enthusiast. All these things. Let's hear what Mark Cuban has to say about the markets right now. Let's go. What do you make of how the markets are digesting this? I know you've often reminded me over the many years, um, you know, that that markets sometimes will respond first on a good news item, uh, buying up on it, sell first on a bad news item, you know, selling off on it. Right now, they're very worried about the Ukraine and how that's going to work out. Is that going to be the market mood setter for the immediate future? Yeah, I mean, markets always overreact and overcorrect to, to news or anticipated news, particularly after a big run up, because speculators and investors want to protect their profits so people run the cash. But the reality is, whether rates go to 3% or 4%, there aren't a lot of other good places to put your money. And so while there may be a lull now, just like we've seen in the past, people will come back to the market. There aren't a lot of other good places to put your money than the stock market. So Mark Cuban is bullish on the market and me included. Right now, I think people are overreacting and you see this, this all the time. If you're new to investing, you will often the time see after a bad quarterly result that a stock plummets like 20%. You have to ask yourself, has this company just become 20% less worth? That is the question that you have to ask yourself. So right now, you have to ask yourself, has the fair value of the stock market actually moved so much just because of this situation here? I know it's a big thing and it could turn out to, into a huge war and all these things. That's not because it's not because I'm uninformed, guys. But often the times markets overreact. I definitely think that he is right about that one. Markets are overreacting on the Russia Ukraine situation and on the rate hike. So all of these things you have to ask yourself and uh, think about the many, many things that play in to when a stock goes up and down. Let's say you own Coca-Cola stock. I saw today like 6% of the sales come from Russia. So people are afraid that um, that might cut, cut into like 6% of their, but you have to remember that so many other factors like, yeah, maybe that's a like a 0.1% chance that um, their earnings are going to be a little bit off compared to before this situation. But there's so many things to play in, of course, with oil and, and stuff like that. That is another situation. But most companies, there's just so many things. Same with rate hikes. Every time rates go up, well, maybe they can make that in another way, right? 
then their loans get more expensive. But if they can put those expenses onto the customer, then that is fine. So really, there's so many things that play into this. But the only thing that you can really be sure of in these times is that if you put your money in value investments in good value investments and you buy companies good companies at fair prices then you cannot go wrong then you will win the game of course go out and make your own research before investing i'm not saying that there couldn't be some huge um, escalation in fear we have already seen fear levels just rise so much so i'm not saying that society can't like push that the media can't push that even more i'm just saying try to take out all of the noise and try to see clearly because that is what people aren't doing. They're not seeing clearly. They're seeing all these things are going in and disturbing um, their clear vision. So what you have to do, take out all of the noise and just look and see good investments, good value investments at good prices. That is what you have to do. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, hopefully you did, then make sure to like and subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. With that said, have a great rest of your day.